In this video, I'll show you how to run a one-way ANOVA in SPSS. The ANOVA, or Analysis of Variance Test, is used to compare three or more independent group means. For this example, I'm going to use a between groups one-way ANOVA to compare different condominiums and the amount they spend on building maintenance. I want to know if there's a difference between how much the condos, on average, spend on maintenance. With one-way ANOVA, you have one independent variable. This variable can be measured at the interval or ratio level, or categorical, that is, nominal or ordinal level. You can also use string variables. Each group represents a unique treatment, sometimes called a level. In this data set, we have five levels representing different condo names. I entered these in the values column in the variable view tab. One assumption for ANOVA is random selection, which was used for this data. The test is robust, which means it performs well even when normality and equal variances are violated. However, if your data severely violates these assumptions, you can run the non-parametric equivalent, the Kruskal Wallace. The null hypothesis is that there is no difference between means of the maintenance expenditures for all condos. Let's run the test. Click Analyze. Compare means. One way and over. Choose your dependent variable. In our case, that's dollars spent. Then click the blue button to move the variable over to the dependent list. Click the name of your levels or factors. In this example, that's condo. And place that into the factor box. Click options. Choose descriptive. Homogeneity of variances. Brown Forsyth and Welch. We're running the test at a 5% alpha level here, which equates to the 95% confidence level. Click Continue. Click OK. And here are our results. The results from the test indicate that our means do look different but we want to know, are these significantly different means? The F value of 3.762 is significant. Our P value of 0.016 or 1.6% is less than the 5% alpha level we chose for the test. We can reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference between means. Levine's test is used to check the assumption of equal variances. The null hypothesis is equal variances for all groups. Therefore, this is one of those cases where you do not want to reject the null hypothesis. The p-value here is huge, about 30%, so we can't reject the null, and that's a good thing. It indicates the test meets our assumption of equal variance. The Welch and Brown Forsyth are different measures of variability. We have a significant result here with low p-values, which is good. However, if either of these tests reports a large p-value over 5%, it means your data is severely violating one of the assumptions for ANOVA. In that case, you should run the Kruskal-Wallis. Based on these results, we can reject the null 
at the 95% confidence level and conclude there is a difference between means. The next step will be to perform post hoc testing to see which pairs of means are different. I'll be covering the Kraskal Wallis test and post hoc testing in separate videos. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.